Alright, this is pretty exciting. My latest 3D print from Shapeways came today. This is a D20 printed in stainless steel. I designed it in uh, SketchUp and then fine-tuned it in Blender. It's actually hollow. The numbers are cut out or cut into the shell. They go all the way through which is kind of a unique design. I don't know how it affects the probabilities and whatnot, but anyway, this is more just for a cool factor than an actual functional D20, although you could use it if you wanted to. It's kind of hard to make out, but uh, for the numbers that have little islands, I basically uh, created a little bridges internally to keep those islands suspended so the numbers read properly. Let's see how much it weighs. <clears throat> okay, so it was 36 grams. Pretty heavy, but it still rolls. It rolls really well on carpet. In fact, my cat was playing with it just a minute ago. Um, yeah, okay, so there's one thing I wanted to mention about this that I think is kind of funny and cool and possibly a first. Uh, this cost around $40 to print in stainless steel and that money that I used to pay for the printing was actually earned via selling a 3D model of this exact item in the virtual world Second Life. So I think that's kind of hilarious and cool. It's kind of like a complete closed loop for for basically creating a product virtually, earning money by selling the virtual object and using that money to finance the 3D printing. So basically this cost me nothing aside from the time that I spent on the 3D model. And uh, yeah, I'm, I'm happy with it. Uh, if you do happen to order one of these from my Shapeway shop, keep in mind that it will probably arrive like mine did, full of sand, which is just a side effect of the stainless steel printing process that they use. And uh, so that was kind of a pain to clean out. It took about 20 minutes, but I did manage to get all the sand out eventually, so it's fairly easy to remove. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much everything that I had to uh, say about this. Um, it's about three centimeters in size too, so that's another thing to consider due to the uh, thin wall restrictions and various material limitations. I had to make it a little bit larger than normal, but to be honest, I kind of like the larger size. It feels really good in the hand, and uh, just the uh, the texture from the 3D printing process, it's incredibly like silky smooth. I mean, it almost feels like like silk or something against your fingers. It's a very pleasant feeling. So yeah, I guess uh, I guess nothing else really to say about this. But uh, I'm very pleased. So thanks for watching.